wow, it truly is an end of an era for the San Francisco 49ers and linebacker Navarro Bowman. Yesterday, he just requested his release to leave the 49ers, and the 49ers actually granted his request to leave the 49ers. So now he's a free agent, and he can pretty much sign with any team he feels like signing. Whoever gives him the best chance to win a Super Bowl uh, during late in his career. I think he's still 29, 30 years old, so I think he still has a lot of years left in him. And Navarro, if you're watching this, thank you so much for everything you've done for San Francisco. I think I can speak for everyone in Niner Nation. We all love you, and... Oh, man, those those were great years. Uh, eight great seasons with the 49ers, especially from 2011 to 2013, all pro years, and 2015 as well. Just wow. What can I say? I mean, led the league in tackles in 2013, top three in tackles in 2011 to 2013, and I think 2015 he might have led the league in tackles again. It was just freaking all pro years, just amazing. And then him and Patrick Willis, woo! That was just the most epic years in the 49ers defense I've ever seen in my lifetime. I mean, to see that base 3-4 defense, to see you and Patrick Willis inside linebackers, just amazing. And then Alden Smith, Justin Smith, that defense was just one of the best in the NFL. I loved seeing that defense. I wish that defense would come back now, but you really can't wish that. So hopefully their new defense with Ruben Foster is going to be freaking amazing. I think he's going to come back against the Redskins this week. I'm not sure, maybe on a limited basis, but I'm excited to see what Ruben Foster can do now. I think he has a lot of big shoes to fill. I thought Navarro Bowman was going to play out the rest of the season and maybe mentor Foster even more, but I guess that's not going to happen on the field. So, Ruben, hope you can do well. I'm rooting for you, too. Hopefully, you can lead the San Francisco 49ers defense into greatness in the next couple of games, next couple of years. I'm excited to see what's going on. But anyways, going back to Navarro Bowman. Ooh, I guess this is an old change, a new change from the old guard to the new guard. I mean, John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, they are just going with a brand, brand new roster. It was just, ooh, they are making a lot of changes. And a lot of people are disappointed and pretty upset that Navarro Bowman's gone. But, hey, he wanted to leave, so you got to grant his request pretty much. Or you don't have to grant his request, but it would be nice to grant his request. And I think that's going to play well for the 49ers in the future, you know, showing respect, showing cultural, I guess, organizational change. I mean, John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan are taking this job really seriously. And I don't know if he, they tried to trade him prior to uh, releasing him, but they probably did, but probably didn't get any offers or anything because I think the biggest concern with Navarro Bowman right now is his health issues so far. And I, he voiced his displeasure for the 49ers, I think, a game against the Colts last week, actually, about getting benched or something like that. He did, he did end up getting benched for whatever reason. I don't know what, what that was about, but what can you do? And I'm just really excited to see what Navarro Bowman does next. I mean, he can sign with pretty much any team now since he's a free agent. So if he signs with the Seahawks, I'll be happy. Yes, even the Seahawks. I'll be happy with the Patriots. The Panthers, they could use a little bit of help. I don't know about Luke Keekley's status. He got a concussion against the Eagles. It's kind of dangerous for him. I mean, a lot of teams could use Navarro Bowman. I think he won't be uh, unemployed that long. I mean, probably in a couple of days, he'll find something real quickly. And hopefully he goes to a playoff contender team and win a Super Bowl. I'll be rooting for him, man. Whatever team he goes, I think everyone in Niner Nation is going to be rooting for him to win a Super Bowl. So, uh, Navarro, again, thank you so much for everything you've done in San Francisco from the great years with the defense from 2011 to 2014. And just Ooh, wow, what else can I say? And one more thing, he made the greatest play in 49er history for the past, I think, like this whole century was the pick at the stick. It was just freaking amazing. The way to close out Candlestick Park, to intercept Matt Ryan, to go crazy for the last touchdown in Candlestick Park. It was just um, epic, I guess you can say. Man, it was just freaking amazing. I love it. And I still remember that. It still gives me chills to this day. I know it's 2013 back then and it's 2017 now, but still remember that play like it was yesterday. It was just freaking crazy. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it, you guys. B Bowman, again, this is like the 50th time I said this. Thank you so much for everything you do in San Francisco. And I wish you the best of luck in whatever team you go to. And hopefully you can win a Super Bowl with that team or what have you. And yeah, just good luck in your future endeavors, Navarro. And everyone else here watching this, uh, I'll see you all later. This is pretty much an emergency video. I didn't expect to make this video. It's Navarro Bowman, great player for the 49ers. And yeah, I'm going to cut it short. I'll see you guys later after the Redskins game, actually. So uh, bye, guys. See you all soon.